We're learning to be tool safe. Watch this video to find out the safety guidelines for this procedure. Most computer engineering classes have an initial project of taking apart computers in general and reassembling them. You might think there's not any safety concerns with this, but there are things to be aware of. The risks are electrical shock, cuts, and pinch points, or making parts of the computer unusable by not knowing how to handle them. The first thing we need to do is discharge any static electricity we have by leaning on the computer case using both hands to touch the surface. We discharge any static electricity we have on us, because if you touch any type of electrical device while you are charged with static electricity, you will fry the component. So, by leaning over the computer and touching the metal sides, you are grounding yourself. Let's review the different kinds of basic tools we can be familiar with for working with computers. These are different kinds of screwdrivers. There's Phillips, Flat, Robertson, and Hex types. You may also need Allen keys or smaller sizes of screwdrivers to reach inside tight spaces depending on the unit. Make sure if you use a tool inside that you are not touching any part of the power supply. It holds a charge even when the machine is not plugged in. Make sure you get the appropriate tools you need assembled and be sure to use the right size of the right tool or it can damage the screws and connectors. To use one of these screwdrivers safely, you hold the handle and place the tip of the screwdriver into the head of a screw. Then gently turn it, making sure it isn't coming out of the screw head. Don't push down hard on the handle of the screwdriver when you use it. Normally, you do not have to push too hard, but you do want to make sure that the tip of your screwdriver is fully seated into the top of the screw. You need to release the screw from the computer case. Turn counterclockwise, or left. Some people say righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. To open up some computer cases, there are levers, push buttons, or pull tabs. The main thing is, don't force it. If you're not sure, ask your teacher how your specific case opens. Now that we have the tools all figured out and how to safely use them, and our computer is open, let's review the basic parts inside the computer. There's the power supply, hard drive, motherboard, cabling connectors, disk drives, RAM, and more. You can examine these parts all individually and find out how they are related in the workings of the computer. Don't forget, inside the computer, you will see that there are exposed screws, sharp edges, and even sharp computer components that can easily scratch or cut you. So we need to have a procedure to follow if we get cut or hurt while we work on this computer. If you do cut yourself, first thing is put pressure on the cut, elevate it, and tell the teacher. Then follow the instructions from the teacher. Make sure you fill in an accident report so a record of what happened will be recorded. After we've reassembled the components, we need to close up the computer's case and put away any used tools. We need to put the computer and parts back from where it was taken from. Remember to lift it properly. When you pick up a computer from the floor or wherever the computer is stored, you must use safe and proper lifting techniques. You must lift with your legs, not with your back. Let me show you how to lift properly. If you have a heavy piece of electronics to lift, then two people can lift it, but they must lift it in tandem and must always keep their back straight and use their legs when they lift. After everything is put away, wash your hands. There may be plenty of oils, chemicals, and dust on the inside of computers. Let's do our tool safe review. Get familiar with the regular hand tools and some specialized size tools. Be aware that the power supply still keeps a charge enough to shock you. Beware of sharp edges on computer cases. Avoid static electricity ground yourself before starting and while working. Keep hands off components and circuits, handle RAM cards by edges. You must lift with your legs, not with your back. Put away all tools, ensure that you don't leave computers in mid-assembly state or document the state that they're in so that you can finish the work later. And if you're not sure about anything for safety, ask your teacher for more direction. And don't forget to be tool safe.